The impact of Hurricane Irma last year was quite devastating. We knew it was heading directly for Barbuda and some of it will hit Antigua. I thought everybody was going to die in that building because everything just keep breaking, ceiling, falling apart. Screams of help, 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 help. And then the fire police, they came and helped us and rescued us from the home. It was not a sight that you want to see. The distract was mostly in the buildings. Many of them are old. The challenge for us going forward is to ensure that an island like Barbuda is rebuilt in such a way that resilience is front and center of the process. CTCN really was instrumental in helping us to, first of all, determine what are the technical expertise that they have access in their network that could help us. And the latest work that we did with them was to look at many of our buildings that are required to be operational during and very soon after a hurricane. We are at the All Saints site, which houses the police station, the magistrate's court, the fire station, and we have a major clinic. They're going to be retrofitting the buildings so that they can withstand the Category 5 hurricanes. We'll have to upgrade the roof, the windows. It is important to have a building that is res resilient to any disaster because we as firefighters are the first responder. We live in a world where the reality is climate is changing. The question is that are we going to move people or are we going to relocate them somewhere? Where will they go? Or can we give the local population the tools and access to financing that will allow them to adapt? The work of CTCN has helped us to connect to the correct funding agencies and technical persons to deal with the adverse conditions arising out of climate change. We actually designed the success of our program with about two or three partners and CTCN is one of them.